Success came early for Zach Hyman. After developing his ice skills in the U.S. college hockey circuit, he's become an essential cog on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Zach has also transitioned his passion for reading into a line of best-selling children's books. His latest, the most adventurous yet. Obviously you inspire so many people on the ice and, and you're inspiring a lot of people with this uh, amazing journey you've been on as a writer. When did you first get interested in writing? Writing's always been a, a passion of mine, you know, reading and writing. Uh, I've just been a part of my life uh, ever since I was a, a, a kid. I, I grew up as the oldest of five boys, so uh, storytelling is kind of uh, in my nature. And, and in grade seven, I wrote this short story, uh, short story for a short story competition, and uh, it won an award. And from there, uh, I went into uh, full-time writing, so it was, it, was, uh, it was good. A lot of people are probably wondering where you find the time off the ice to do your writing. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that people don't realize that we have a lot of free time in, in, during the season. Obviously, a lot of it is focused on hockey, and um, that's our that's our main job. But you know, guys have uh, opportunities to pursue other hobbies and and passions, and, and writing and reading are, are one of mine. So I'm able to do that a lot uh, during the year, and then obviously in the off season, I have a lot of time. And I would imagine that. It, it can be a, a great release or a way to get away actually from some of the stress that you're dealing with on the ice to to just sit down and write. Exactly, yeah. You, you can't you can't have hockey on your mind 24/7, or else you'll drive yourself crazy. Because you know there's there's full the season's full is full of ups and downs, and uh, you know writing's an outlet for me to to get away from that for sure. And I wonder, are there parallels b between what you do and what you've learned? in hockey and what you do and what you've learned in writing? Sure, yeah, definitely. I mean, I try to take things that I've learned in hockey and incorporate them into my writing. And each of my books, um, all three of them, Hockey Hero, The Bambino and Me, and The Magician's Secret, they all have uh, important messages for kids. And, and, you know, my books are obviously about for four kids or children's books. And I think that it's important to to give kids a, a message. And the, the theme of, of all the books is just believing in yourself and the, the power of self-belief. I think that's an important point, believing in yourself, because a lot of people look up to you, they say what you've been able to accomplish as a professional hockey player, but they also see what you're able to do in pursuing this passion in writing. What would be your advice to, to people who truly want to follow their dreams? Yeah, you know, if you give 100% into anything you do, you, you can't be upset with yourself. So for me, it's, it's always, you know, you choose something to do something, you, you give it your all and you believe in yourself and I truly believe that if you do you're, you're going to be successful and uh, you're going to make your dreams come true and that's what I, what I try to preach to kids and I think that that's a really important message. Is this also a way for us to, to think about the, uh, the evolution of your career? I mean, I think uh, longer term, are, are you thinking about, uh, you're, you're still in your mid-20s, but is, is, is it already something you're thinking about, like what life will be like after hockey? Uh, I mean, I, I try to just live in the moment, really. So right now, I'm, I'm excited to be, to be playing hockey. Obviously, I get, a, I get a, the, the privilege of, of playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and that's uh, been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. So I mean, just living that is, uh, is exciting and I, I try not to think too far into the future but uh, no I love playing here I love writing books and uh, I'm going to continue to do both